Hey, hey, happy Tuesday. I know it's most likely late for most of you in the East Coast, but for us over here, it's not even nine o'clock and as you see, it's nice and bright. So anyways, you can watch this today, you can watch this tomorrow. I wanted to pop on here to give you um, some information that I've been learning on this nutrition program that I'm following. And although I've been on my journey for a very long time, uh, I don't know it all. So I'm always trying to learn more about my body and learn more about hunger cues and learn more about how sorry and learn more about how I can function better right so I wanted to talk about uh five different hunger cues or types of hunger um and how you can combat them so number one I didn't even know that there were five different types of hunger mind you so number one is physical hunger so you're gonna see that I'm gonna be looking at my notes just because I don't want to mess it up um so there's physical hunger there's sense hunger there's emotional hunger there's mind hunger and then there's sleep deprived hunger we all know that one, right? Um, so when it comes to physical hunger, that is the typical type of hunger. That is, uh, you know, you, you wake up and like your stomach's growling or uh, you have really low energy because you have no more fuel left in your body. So that's physical hunger. Um, and the one with physical hunger is obviously it's normal to feel that. Uh, it's very gradual. It's not the type of hunger that you're just going to, just like that and being physically hungry um it's something that you know gradually comes on so this is the one where it's totally normal to feel and totally okay to satisfy um you know obviously first things first you always drink your water so that you know you're making sure that it's not that you're dehydrated because a lot of times we might think that we're hungry but it's really dehydration and then after that you really think about like what did I eat today? If you realize that it's like supper time and you didn't eat all day, obviously, yes, you're physically hungry. But if you notice that you just ate like an hour ago and it was a satisfying meal with some protein, with some veggies, you had some fiber filled carbs in there and all that kind of stuff, you're not hungry. Like it could be one of the other types of hungers that we're going to go through right now. So that would be number one, physical hunger. So thinking about your day, having some water, and then obviously have a whole bunch of vegetables because that's really going to fill you up without packing on a whole bunch of calories onto you, right? So number two would be sense hunger. So I'm going to go through the five senses. Obviously, it's based on the five senses. So you have your smell, see, touch, taste, and hear. So for example, first of all, the smell. Let's say if you walk by a bakery, especially if we're back in Montreal, like we're most of that's my hometown and we have those homemade bagels that are made or you pass by one of those bakeries that have like the hot bread, you're going to want some of that, right? Because it smells so good. Another thing, see, if you're sitting down and someone next to you is eating something and you're like, oh my God, that looks so good. That would be a reason why you would want to eat just by seeing it. Another thing is touch. And this, it's really funny because in the video uh, with the nutrition group, the nutrition program, she gives this example. And then I was speaking with one of my clients today and this exact thing happened to her on the weekend. Uh, she went out to eat. She knew exactly what she was going to eat. So she ordered it. And then someone asked to pass the bread basket and she picked up the bread basket. And since she picked up the bread basket and it was nice and warm, she decided to have a piece of bread. But then she had another and another and another because it was nice and warm, right? She touched it. So the fact that she touched it, she's like, oh my God, this is so good. And then she just kept having more. So that's what the touch. Then you have the taste. And that was kind of like with the bread too. You know, she had one and she was like, oh my God, I want another one. But it's just like when you have chips or anything like that, like they even say, once you have one, you can't stop. Like that's what happens. You have one, you taste it, and then you can't stop afterwards. And then the last one is here. So let's say if you hear some popcorn popping, you're like, oh my God, I want popcorn. Or you hear like a piece of meat sizzling, and then you're like, oh my God, I want that piece of meat, right? So that would be with your five senses. That, when it comes to that, like that's that's not, that's not physical. That's totally outside um, factors that are making you think that you want to eat. And that you're not really hungry. So um, one of the catchphrases that uh, this dietitian gives is dinteo. So do I need this Eden opportunity? So D-I-N-T-E-O. So that's when you really sit down and you think, do I really need to eat this right now? Like, 
let's say with the bread basket. Do I need to eat this right now? I have a plate of food right in front of me. Do I need to eat this bread? No, because I already have what I wanted to order right in front of me. So I don't need to eat this bread. Another thing is when you're tracking your food, because like one thing that I always suggest my clients do is track their food. So when you're tracking your food, track and see, like, why did you eat that thing? So let's say with the bread again, you edit because you touched it and it felt like super warm and outside was cold. So you wanted to have some. And then once you had one, you had more because it felt great, right? So writing down these reasons can help you think about the next time that you're in the situation, how can you avoid falling down the same trap, right? So that is what your sense is. Then you have emotional eating. We all know emotional eating, what that is, right? It's based on your emotions, based on what's going on in your head, right? Um, but there could be two ways. There could be a positive emotional eating factor and then a negative one. So let's say the positive one, you know, it's a celebration and then you decide it's a celebration. We need to have cake. We need to have drinks. We need to have all these kind of things. Just because it's a celebration doesn't mean that it has to revolve around food. Whether you eat food or not does not diminish the amount of excitement that you have from the celebration that you're having or from the event that was like amazing, a graduation, a birthday party, whatever. It doesn't need to revolve around food. And this is something that I know in our family, like every single event revolves around food. <laughs> I'm always like, we need to like disassociate the emotions from the food. Like it's not... You know, it, it's not one in one in one, right? Um, another thing would be negatively. So let's say if you had a really bad day and then you're like, I want to go home and I'm going to down a bag of chips because I had a really bad day. That's not going to help the fact that you had a really bad day. Like the emotion from it is not, it's not attached to the food that you're going to have. Having those chips is not going to make you feel better. For some people, it might even make them feel worse, right? So those Two situations are where emotional hunger uh, comes into play. So one thing, a big thing with this is tracking. When it happens, because it happened to me just yesterday. I was like, I was eating some popcorn before my, my workout. And I was like, I'm not hungry. Why am I eating this popcorn? I'm like, it smells good. It tastes good. And I just feel like eating it. Like, that's it, you know? And in those situations, I still wrote it down. I still wrote, I had two handfuls of popcorn. And now thinking about it, I'm going to go back and write what was the emotion that I was feeling when I did that? You know, what was it that was going on in my mind when I did that? So that the next time that I do have that emotion, I know what to do in place of it, right? Um, the other one, mind hunger. This one is weird. I've never heard of this before. But this is, let's say if you're following a nutrition um, plan where you're focused on the number. So amount of calories per day, amount of points per day, whatever the case might be. This would be one where let's say if you skip your lunch and then it's supper time and you're like, oh my God, I still have however many calories for the day. Well, I'm going to have a really big meal because I have all these calories left over. But if you realize that in your body, you don't actually need it. You don't feel like you're that hungry. You don't feel like you need it. The fact that you're going to have all these calories just because you're allotted these numbers doesn't necessarily mean that you should be having it. And I know I've fallen into this trap before where I'm like, oh my God, I have whatever, whatever amount of food left over. Let me try to like down this quickly so that I get them in throughout my day. And it's like, but you don't actually need it, right? So with that one, tracking is definitely the thing that's going to help you the most because you're going to realize like, okay, I don't, I don't need this food. I'm only having it because of X, Y, Z. So then either you can make sure that the other days you're not skipping that lunch <laughs> so that you're not falling into that situation. Or if you do decide that you're still going to be skipping that lunch and you end up having at the end of the day, all this food that you can have will still be mindful that you might not necessarily need it and then don't have it, right? And see see how that feels. Then um, the other, another way to think about that is let's say if while you're meal prepping, you realize that you're grazing and you're just like eating food as you're prepping away. It's not, you're not even being mindful of the fact that you're eating this food. So at the end of it, you might be full, but then you might be like, oh my God, I didn't eat. So I still need to eat something. I know I've done that before. I'm like, oh, I didn't eat, but then I'm not 
hungry because I was grazing at the food. So having a meal before you start meal prepping is something that can help you. You can use this also if you're going to an event. You know that like right now you're not hungry, but while you're there, you're going to be hungry. Maybe have a little something now so that you don't go there and be completely famished, right? So that is how you can use mind hunger to your advantage instead of to your disadvantage. And then the last one, obviously sleep deprived hunger. And that I would say 100% I've realized that whenever I'm tired, whenever I don't sleep well, whenever I don't have a lot of sleep, I am more hungry that day. Like I, and I'm reaching for carbs because I know that carbs is what's going to give you, give me energy. I know that carbs is what's going to make my sugar spike and it's going to give me the energy. But when that happens, that doesn't necessarily mean number one, that I need to have these like weird, silly carbs, right? Like tracking and seeing like oh, okay i had let's say five hours of sleep that day or four hours of sleep that day well i'm gonna be more mindful throughout the day like hello you're gonna try to reach for carbs like maybe make sure that you have all these like vegetables on hand and protein on hand so that you're really full and not reaching for these carbs right um another thing would be if i do want to have carbs don't have the weird silly carbs like make sure that i'm having sweet potato and all that kind of stuff instead of having like a donut or a muffin or something like that. Um, so yeah, so those were the five different types of hunger. So there's uh, physical, emotional, mind, sleep deprived, and senses. So hopefully that this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, let me know. Also, I would love to know if you're hearing this and you're like, oh my God, that was me yesterday. I had xyz hunger let me know in the comments and let me know how this can help you the next time that you have that same situation and i'll talk to you soon bye